Hello everyone, my name is Master Ruffles and welcome to Slorus. This is a new grand strategy game created by the folks over at Paradox Interactive. Now, this game has been highly anticipated mostly because of its role-playing features where you can customize every single aspect of your civilization from its government type to the racial features of your species to weaponry that you use, ways that you travel, ship type, and uh, your homeworld. So, it allows for some really cool role-play moments like you can role-play the Imperium of Man from Warhammer 40k, you can role-play the I don't know, the Gungans from Star Wars, the Covenant from Halo, the choices are really yours. Um, so we got a few races we can choose from. Got mammals, reptiles, birds, bugs, squid, fungus, led by the Blorg. This thing looks like the Hydra from Heracles. And then we got the villain from Batman Beyond, and then Parrot in a Jar, Toucan Sam, Alligator Snapping Turtle. And rounding it all off, the platypus, as my uh, personal favorite choices. Now, for this let's play, we'll be doing a, I guess, a role play of a species subservient to Cthulhu or descendants of Cthulhu. It's not really ever uh, clear on what their relation is to Cthulhu, but they are known as the Cthulhu or the star spawn of Cthulhu, and they live in the sunken city of Ryleth with uh, Cthulhu. Now, unfortunately, there's not much known on the star spawn of Cthulhu, so. I've had to plug in some stuff here and there that I might have assumed could be a uh, part of their species, but who knows. In any case, wait a minute, oh, I misspelled it. Okay, there we go. Cthulhu, it's just like, you know, Cthulhu, but replace the U with an I, that's it. It is that simple. And I suppose we can Oh, right, that, that feature isn't allowed, right. And adjective-wise, we'll go with that, why not? Okay, so, I think these are fine, but we can definitely change them. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go, that is looking really good right now. Okay, now this is easy, because... Basically, one of the major features of the Star Spawn of Cthulhu is the fact that they can change their body parts at whim. So, they're very adaptive to the environment, which is why I'm going to make them extremely adaptive. Because they can change their biological structure and stuff. Now, because of this, we need to pick some bad traits because we have some points left off. So, I'm thinking right now of what I want. We could be slow breeders, but that can cause some issues here and there. Slow learners... That could be a problem for our science ships. Weak. From a roleplay aspect, doesn't really work. Because we can change our body parts to be like gigantic swords. Why would we be weak? Sedentary. Now, this could work. Except that they colonize the planet of Earth. So, that doesn't really work out. Solitary. I think this could work. I mean, they're away from their god. They're not happy. You know, what, 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 we can't do anything about that. We can make other species not happy towards us. Possibility. Could be like the Blorg. Um, so yeah, let's get this. And then we'll also get Decadent. Because I feel like we're going to be enslaving a ton of people. We're going to make, we're going to be a slaver race, folks. Um, how about Great Old One? Color type, let's pick purple. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Okay, so next. Homeworld name. You see, the star spawn of Cthulhu reside on our planet. However, do I want to do our planet? That is the issue here. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. And star name is Soul, and then we will do that. And they have a continental world uh, to start off with and continental preference. The star spawn of Cthulhu did reside on most of the continents on the planet with the elder things um, staying to the oceans. And then afterwards when Ryloth sank, uh, or Ryloth sank rather, um, the, Cthul the Cthulhu uh, fell with the city. So there is that. So they're not in the ocean on their own free will, right? Uh, yeah, let's pick this why not we are squids after all so because we worship cthulhu right i think fanatic spiritualist would be a good idea 
But because we're decadent, I think we should be xenophobic as well. But not a fanatic xenophobic. Because we... Well... Should we be fanatic xenophobic? Yeah, but then we can't be a spiritualist, like a fanatic spiritualist. And I feel like we would be a fanatic spiritualist if we're worshipping a gigantic squid. Again, there's not a lot known about them, so I'm... I'm using my own assessments. Fanatic militarist could be uh, something we could do, but they did make a peace treaty with the elder thing, so there's that to take into consideration. All right. So we can get theocratic republic, theocratic oligarchy, or divine mandate. I think divine mandate, as we get 50% slavery tolerance, and we already have 50% alien slavery tolerance. And we have minus 15% resettlement costs. Now, I'm not sure if slavery tolerance and alien slavery tolerance adds up to about 100%. I'm not sure if this is altogether all slavery. It doesn't really matter though, because I just want divine mandate mostly because I, uh, role playing wise, I think it fits. All right, name. I'm always getting this wrong. All right, adjective. Um, I don't know. Star spawn. Empire. All right. So now things are going to be a little bit easier. You can choose that and colors wise, we got a lot of colors to choose from. Red and then secondary colors could be. Uh, ooh, ooh. that's good. Yeah. All right, so weaponry wise, we could go for energy weapons, projectile weapons, or missile weapons. I've always liked mass drivers, so I'm going to pick mass drivers. Now we could choose from warp travel, wormhole travel, or hyperspace travel. Wormhole, uh, warp travel is basically you take your ships from one star and you can warp them anywhere to uh, anywhere in the galaxy, but it's very slow in comparison to everything else. So let's say I'm going from this star to like that star, I could do that, or I could go from this star to that star, but it's like slow travel. Whereas hyperspace travel, there's lanes, right? So you can only go on pre-existing paths, however, it's very fast, so that's something to take, take into consideration. Then we have wormhole generators, which can make us uh, travel across vast distances, but there's a few problems with that, of course. Ah. So this one is hard, right? I do like warp travel, but it's slow and I don't like it as much as I could and it makes things a little bit messy. So let's go hyperspace travel. Yeah, this is pretty good. All right, we're done. Let's go. So galaxy size, we will pick 800 stars and we'll get a couple of AI empires going. Let's pick normal. We're not, we're not savage. And let's pick hyperdrive as well. If everybody uses hyperdrive, I think. No, actually, let's let every. Yeah, let's, let's let anybody. You do whatever you want. Yeah. That's our deal, not yours. It's gonna be like Sword of the Stars in that way. All right. So if you ever played like a grand strategy game, you will be right at home here. Let's pick our technology white. Oh, right now, we have a choice between a defense platform, nuclear missiles, and improved star uh, spaceport said starport for some weird reason in terms of society research we can get the new world's protocol biodiversity studies and a space combat doctrine which improves our naval capacity then engineering oh wait well physics we get solar panel extra power plants deflectors now i've tried to fight battles without deflectors trust me you need deflectors so we're going to get deflectors and we're going to get the colony ship because we want that out as soon as possible. Now this one is a little bit trickier because I do like missiles. However, nuclear missiles, I don't know. I don't know about that. This one is, I think, in my opinion, a little bit more safer, mostly because we can get an improved starport, get some mineral storage. And mineral storage isn't necessarily a important thing, but getting the spaceport level 2 is always nice. So this is our construction ship and it can 
construct a couple structures depending on the uh, resources of a territory. However, this is our science ship, and this guy will be very important because he will scout out the entirety of the system. So we'll just do that right now. We got some ships just chilling out. These guys over here. Construct them from the uh, spaceport. And now we're going to go on to our planet, which currently does not have, uh, has a uh, production modifier that's actually uh, messing us up a little bit. Now, why is that? Well, that's because we're decadent. So that's minus 10% production because, oh, hey, we don't have slaves. However, if I enslave one of my own populace, that will um, cause some problems. So, right, I could enslave this guy right here, right? And that will make everybody get rid of the 10% modifier. However, everybody else will be unhappy with this. And because of that, uh, a 10% modifier will still exist. So if I get rid of the minus 10% from Decadent, I'll still take a minus 10% hit because, oh, they're unhappy. So I'm going to wait till I get a happiness structure, then enslave someone. Then afterwards, I don't have to worry about the minus 10% um, penalty. Right. So let's go. This guy is just going to scout around and we're basically going to wait. Uh, current ruler dies, so High Priestess. Hmm. You know, I could have sworn I picked the male. Oh, well. I think that's just the starting ruler. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Okay, so right now our moon is barren, so that was unfortunately a waste of time. We could speed this up and I will do so. So yeah, there's a lot of waiting right now because there's not much to do. This is our empire over here. We got Alpha Centauri over there. We got this star. We then have this star over here and that star. So we have five stars right now to choose from. Found. Ooh, ooh. Okay. These are anomalies. These can help us out in getting more research or more resources or uh, special technology. However, this has a 45% uh, failure risk. I'm going to wait. The reason why I'm going to wait is mostly because if I level up my science uh, guy enough, then he'll get to level 3 and maybe this will be like from 45% to 10%, you know? So let's leave for now. Right, so we can only, I guess, colonize territories and build structures in territories where our borders uh, touch. So I can colonize this, 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 this. But not this or not that. Alright, so so far, really not a lot going on. Unfortunate. Hopefully we don't get fucked over because... God, I've been fucked over so many times in my Let's Plays with this game. It is what it is, though. Can't really do anything about it. Hostile fleet detected. Ooh. So there is a hostile fleet. However, sometimes these uh, hostile fleets are nothing more than uh, random. Ooh. Never mind. I, I thought they were going to be space cows, but they seem to not be space cows. Ugh, alien manus. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. I've had to deal with these guys before. They are pretty tough we could research right and deal with this alien menace over here situation however that would stop our society research right because we need to have somebody with society um, dealing with this so maybe instead we will get a science ship and then afterwards research this whole thing actually we don't need to do that because See, the thing is, is that society already takes like 66 months, so what are we going to waste? Like 180 days. Yeah, that's that's nothing. Just just do it. Pause society research for now. We do need a second science ship, I think, so let's go ahead and build one before I forget. Hopefully, that um, giant blob of aliens doesn't attack us. Though our spaceport is pretty powerful, so we won't get rushed down. Oh. Okay, so we just got some extra crystals. Nice. I will now go ahead and construct a mining station on these planets, mostly because I want the crystals. 
Or not crystals, but minerals. Minerals, crystals, it doesn't matter. It's semantics at the end of the day. Ooh, but failure risk is still 45%. So let's leave for now. I don't want my wonderful scientist to die. So now we can get an, um, more scouting done because we have a second science ship. Let's go ahead and recruit a new scientist. Let's get someone who's a little bit... I wanted to get someone who was a little bit more, I guess... What is it called? A little bit more of a uh, field expert and not someone in the back of the computer desk. I wanted someone who can actually help me get more anomalies. Oh well. Uh, let's just get... Yeah, well, we'll just get him. Why not? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna tell him to right now scout out Alpha Centauri. Unfortunate. We have two anomalies, but our scientists are just not at the right level. So, we're now at Alpha Centauri. Ooh, we can, we can actually colonize this planet. Look at that. 80% habitat. Um, ooh, we can train. Nice. Expertise particles. Huh, and now he's level two. So now it's going to be a little bit easier for us to, I guess, do these anomalies. Like, look at this. Now it's at 20%. So that's good. Maybe we could try and get it to 30%, maybe? I mean, not 30%, we could maybe get it to like 10%, maybe? I don't know. So far, this planet is pretty habitable for us, which is nice. Very, very good. 80%. That could be because also we're extremely adaptable, so that's something to keep to take into consideration. Alright, so right now our credits are down because we built two mining stations, but... That will be worth it at the end of the day because we could get some more energy credits easily. But let's go ahead and build something maybe. We might want to get out a power plant. We can maybe wait till, I don't know, one of these planets. Oh, Saturn. Look at Saturn, actually. Okay, let's, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop you. Special nope. project ah, thank you. So, these are the space amoebas. I will issue a, a special project for them. Let's get a mining station so that we can get some extra credits. Credits are basically currency in this game. So, space amoeba observation. Right. You see, I don't want to delay my society research even more than it already is. So, that is a problem. Oh, leave for now. I'm going to wait till he gets to level 3 because that would be very interesting. Oh, got more aliens all over the place. That is unfortunate. We got the beta menace now. So, beta, space amoeba, not good. We might have to deal with all these creatures and stuff at some point. Maybe. It's going to depend. It's going to definitely depend. Ooh, 10%. There we go. You see that? We're going to leave for now because I still want to scout out the system. Even though we can damn well do it without any repercussions. Ooh, 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 ooh. Actually, yeah, yeah. Just do that. Do that. Do that little thing. And then afterwards, I want you to get more credits. Alpha Centauri-wise, we're... Yeah, we're not getting a whole lot, actually, from Alpha Centauri. Damn. 30%. Leave for now. I want to scout, and then afterwards we will do all these. We can only control five planets, but this can be increased with technology, buildings, and some government forms. Like, if I picked um, Theocratic Republic, I think I'm going to get more planets, which is nice. Construct. Construct. Looks like a, a whale shark, actually. In any case... You, my lovely love. Don't construct that. Instead, get me more credits. I'll get a mining station there. Okay, so far everything's going well. I think what I'm going to do is once this guy is done surveying Alpha Centauri, we're going to get him on... Oh, man. Actually, 
That's difficult. I want to do these two things, but I can't without getting rid of my scientist, so that's System a problem. Complete. You know what? Who cares at the end of the day, right? Let's first do these anomalies. So let's do 10% risk. Okay. This one is 20%. This one is level 1, but it's still pretty high on the risk category. How far away are you from leveling up? Ah, you're a... You're a... You're, you're doing great, kid. Ah. want to do it. Just do it. I don't care anymore. We still need the minerals to actually build a colony ship. Colony ships take about a total of 350 uh, minerals, so that's something to take into consideration. We won't be able to, I suppose, save up in time for it. And you know what? I'm going to call it here for today's episode, but don't you worry. Just follow the playlist, and I'll be uploading videos, I think, every hour for May 5th, actually, because that's when the embargo lifts. And yeah, you'll get all your Stellaris content. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.